Go away, everybody. Welcome to a special Tuesday evening edition of the Monday Coffee Conversation. Maybe evening time, but it's a little cool, and there's never a wrong time for coffee. All right, the reason we're doing this one uh, a little different today is we wanted to address something that's been going on with our live services on Facebook. Um, if you've noticed a couple times in the last few weeks, the service will be on and then all of a sudden it just stop and disappear. Now the reason for that is Facebook is real finicky about copyright when it comes to music and things. And a lot of these soundtracks that we use for singing and praise and worship, they don't like it. Facebook don't. They don't. Uh, it their algorithms and their system just picks it up and flags it. So after so long, they'll cut it off. And it's even not just your um, uh, pre-recorded things like soundtracks and things like that. This past Sunday evening, I believe it was, Pastor Scott was playing Amazing Grace on the piano. And the Facebook algorithm picked it up as a Randy Travis karaoke version. Now, none of us sound like Randy Travis, and but the Facebook decided that that's what it was, so we got flagged for it. Um, what we're going to do to remedy this is we're going to start broadcasting via YouTube Live. And all that means is you can still watch on Facebook because we'll broadcast it through YouTube Live and we'll share the link on our Facebook page when the service starts. The only difference it will be is you sometimes, like if you're on Facebook and you're scrolling through or you watch your phone vibrate or something, you'll see a notification from Facebook Live every time we have a live video come on. That won't happen anymore. But we're gonna show you a few ways that you can still get notified anytime we post something on Facebook. Now, like I said, if, if you have YouTube and you have, you're subscribed to our channel, and we'll talk about that here in a few minutes, and you get notifications from them, then you'll still get the notification. You'll get a notification every time we put something on YouTube, and it will come up as live. But I'm going to show you how to go through on your Facebook via laptop or computer and change a couple of settings. It's really simple, and we'll have a, a screen record up while I'm talking over it, and what it does is it will allow you to get notified when we put something on our Facebook page, whether it be a post or whether it be a link to a video or live services on YouTube, whatever it is. Now, when you do see our services live on Facebook and you click on the link, it will open YouTube because the link itself is for YouTube. So technically, you won't be watching it on Facebook. You'll be watching it on YouTube. But all the things are the same. You'll still have the ability to add comments, prayer requests, things like that that you've been doing so far anyway. So nothing changes except the medium that it's coming from. And we're going to show you how to get notifications on all that right now. Okay, so what you see here is our Facebook page. This is how it looks if you're on a computer or a laptop. It looks a little different if you're on mobile. But... Anyway, this is our Facebook page, and if you look, you'll see all the, the things you're used to seeing on down through there and all that. But if you look right here, is the tab that says following. Yours may say follow. If it just says follow, click on it, and it will set you to following us. If you haven't liked our page, come right here and click on the little thumb, and it'll change from like to liked. Now, if you've liked it, it should say following already. So what we want to do is click on that tab, and you'll see all of these options come up. It shows how you have it set for now. If it's on default, which it more than likely is, that means it just comes up according to Facebook's algorithm. And here we have the favorites option. Their snooze takes it away for 30 days, and off takes away all notifications. Now come on down here, and it shows these different options for the types of notifications you get. Click on Post. And it's set as highlights, which means you get certain ones that they think is important. Come up here and click on standard, and it says up to five new post notifications per day. Now, I don't put a whole lot of notifications on there, two, three tops per day, so you're not going to get swamped with notifications if you click this. 
but the only time we put anything on there is when it's necessary to get it out so click on that and then come here under video click the same thing all notifications and then go under live click it and go to all notifications under offers we don't have any offers so don't worry about that now come back up here to where it says favorites and click on that that will make sure that when we do have something and you get notified it will come up higher on your news feed click update and you're done it's that simple now that should have you lined out to get all of our notifications from our Facebook feed and now we'll go and show you how to get on the notifications for YouTube channel okay here we're just on Google search first thing we have to do is go to YouTube so we'll go to YouTube main page and that's how it looks when you go to YouTube if you're not signed into a YouTube account already go into the search bar whichever way whether you're signed in or not and type in Morningstar Church Castlewood look over my typing issues but Morningstar Church Castlewood that's the name of our channel and you look and it brings it up here you'll see the Soul Warrior logo Morningstar Church Castlewood and then you'll see the subscribe button you can click on our page and it brings it up we have all of our videos listed in different categories they are naturally listed in order from old or newest to oldest but let's go back to the search page and you see the subscribe button here click on that and then it brings up any Google account you have which is YouTube accounts so this has all my different ones work church home school all kinds of stuff so you won't see any of that but you'll see anything that has to do with you if you don't have one you can click on use another account click on that it takes you to here and then you can sign in with anything else that you may have that's not showed up there if you don't have a Google account at all or you don't have a YouTube channel account which is the same as a Google account you can go to create account click on that click on for myself and then it brings up all this information just like you're signing up for an email address or anything else this just allows you to subscribe to different channels on YouTube and once you're subscribed you have notifications from any channel that you're subscribed to so once again this is just to get you in the main thing is when you type in Morningstar Church Castlewood and it comes up you see that red subscribe button just go ahead and subscribe it and that will give you notifications for any time we put something on there I'm just filling in stuff here it's not going to accept it because it's probably you know already used or something I'm just killing time typing while doing this but if you don't have a Google account and chances are you do even if you don't know it if you have a Samsung account but you can create one even if you forgot your password or whatever you can create one here and just put in your email and it's it's really simple okay that pretty much sums it up um, you go through those steps either way or both ways would probably be the best to to know for sure that you're going to get a notification but you can go through it via Facebook or you can go through it via YouTube and subscribe change those options um, with the video you can stop it you can replay it whatever you need to do I know it was a little quick and a little fast but anything you need to do you like I said replay it whatever and you can always ask us if you have any questions about this stuff you can send a message via Facebook Messenger to the church page I get those so I, if you have any issues with this you can just message and try that way send an email if you prefer that way Morningstar Church Virginia at live.com and send us a message that way once again if you have any issues let us know we can walk you through it it's really simple I can just message and send you screenshots or whatever if you're not able to do it with this but that should set you up to get notifications now regardless of whether you take this step or regardless of whether you like notifications or not you may not want them um, you can still go to our Facebook page every time we have a service that is broadcast live and just click on the link so Sunday morning 11 o'clock a.m. 6 p.m. Wednesday nights at 7 those will still be there or if you know someone that's not on Facebook and maybe that they've not been joining us because of that now you can go to YouTube and just search your channel and it will show up there 
when it is live. So you can join us just like you was before, maybe with one additional click, and still be with us. I'd like to also say this. We do this, you know, live services and stuff online. We were kind of forced into it like most of the world was two years ago when the coronavirus hit. But we were looking into coming into this anyway. We were working towards it, seeing what all we had to do. And the reason was so we can get the word of God out there to more people. You know, a lot of people, they don't want to come to a church because, well, let's just face it. They've been talked about before by Christians. You know, they've been judged because of how they used to live. Or somebody said, well, I can't believe he or she's here. Or a lot of people won't come because they don't like such and such that goes there. And, you know, we're human. Things like that shouldn't be, but they are. And that's just the way it is. But in this way, they have the opportunity to hear the Word of God online at home. And that's the reason we wanted to start doing this. And then, like I said, we were kind of pushed a little fast into it a couple of years ago. But the way to get more people to see the word, to hear the messages that we have at Morning Star. When you're watching a video, if you like it, or if there's someone that you know that may be interested in that service, hit the share button. When you share it to your page, there's so many, all of the people that maybe aren't following the church page, but are on your friends list on Facebook, they see it. And you never know what kind of difference that can make somebody just randomly scrolling I'm bored, nothing to do. I'll watch this church service. It could change their life. We never know how much that can really affect other people. So if you feel like it, hit that share button. And let's see how many more people we can get the word of God to. Now, it is evening time. It's coffee time. But it's about supper time. So I'm going to let you guys go. And we'll see you next time on the Monday Coffee Conversation.